What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video we're going to do a re-review of the Lithman Cardiology 3 stethoscope. Uh, it's a re-review because uh, about a year and a half or so ago I did my first review of this stethoscope and made a video and it was when I first bought the stethoscope in medical school gave you guys a review of what it looked like, what it came with, but um, now that I've had the chance to use it over the last year and a half or so, um, I want to give you my review on what I like about it, what I don't like about it, a more thorough look at the stethoscope itself. That was a lot of feedback I got. People wanted to actually see up close various parts of the stethoscope, and they want to know how to change the uh, pediatric diaphragm to the bell, and I'll do that all for you today. Uh, for some reason, I kept the original packaging of this stethoscope. I don't know why, so in a sense, if you are the type of person that enjoys unpack therapy, here you go, this is for you. So you open up the stethoscope box, and uh, I happen to get the black edition just because I liked it. And here's what you get. You get a the stethoscope itself, a Lithman cardiology book, and a little bag with um, the actual component here to convert it to a bell and extra pairs of these little ear, these little ear cushions for your stethoscope. But first, let me show you this book. Um, the, this book actually isn't bad. It has a few key pieces of information I'll just point out now. The first is you can press gently or you can press a little bit more firmly when you have your stethoscope on the skin of a patient to hear different frequencies. If you press lightly, you'll hear lower frequencies. And if you press a bit more firmly, you'll hear the higher frequencies. Um, just a key point so you don't look like a fool walking around with your stethoscope. Uh, when you have it in your ear, the part that goes in your ear, this is this part. So imagine you're facing forward. You want the stethoscope to be going like this in your ear. Your ear canal goes anterior, thus should this as well. Don't be that person who has it in the wrong way. People notice it kind of quickly and you just don't, you don't want someone to point that out to you. It's a little bit embarrassing. But so there's a free tip and it shows you how to change the uh, pediatric diaphragm to the uh, bell, which I'll show you how to do that today. So that's the little book that you get. Give it a quick read, it's worth it. There is some high yield information is a med school term for you. So you get this little bag, a cute little bag with a little, uh, little paper here. And as I said, you get these uh, various colored uh, cushions, which actually it'll just come with the black one itself. These are just extra and the diaphragm um, conversion to the bell, which I'll show you how to do. So here's the actual stethoscope itself. Again, I did buy the black version. I just happened to like the way it looked, which is why I bought it. And here's the stethoscope itself, the part that you can actually clearly put into your ear. Remember, if you're facing this way, put it in that way. Do not put it in facing backwards. It, just don't, please, just put it in properly. I bought this little thing extra, it's a little name tag thing, you put your name on the back. Um, all, everyone pretty much that I've seen, every medical student, almost everyone in the hospital has a similar stethoscope. Now that this black edition came out, a lot of people have this black color. Just to prevent it from getting confused with other people, I think I paid two or three dollars for this and um, I got it at my school library just to kind of be able to find my own quickly. And then the stethoscope here itself, here's the actual adult diaphragm, and on this side you have your pediatric diaphragm, if you can see it clearly. Okay, is it clear? There you go. Okay, and then there's the pediatric side. Now, only one side's going to be enabled. And so you can put it in your ear and kind of just gently scratch it to hear which side it is. And if it's, say, if it's on the adult side but you want it to go on pediatric, all you do is just hold it and rotate and it clicks in and now you've activated the other side. So, so let me go ahead and remove this and then now we can show you how to um, convert the pediatric diaphragm to the bell. So we go ahead and open this and here's this little piece of plastic that... Uh, will give you a bell. So this one, it, it'll come in this fashion and what you have to do is there's a little rubber ring around here right around the edge. Now let me see if it stays in focus so I can bring it in for you. Now there's a little rubber ring here and the diaphragm is plastic and it's here. Mine has a little hole in it. I think they all come like that. The way to do it, just take your hand, take the fingernail, put it right underneath and just kind of pull. Let's see if I can do this without breaking. huh? So I'm kind of using my thumb, kind of giving it a little, little shake and pull. Okay, there we go, it came off. That was all in real time, didn't edit that. And literally it's, and this actually holds its shape pretty well, it's good, it's good product. And uh, so that comes off, right, you can see there in the light. So I just took off the actual little rim of plastic and the diaphragm just slides right off. So here's the actual diaphragm, very thin piece of plastic with some rubber here on the edges. And then here's what you're left with. 
the actual bell itself. So you take off the pediatric diaphragm, you take these two off, you don't need that anymore. Now this is just a piece of plastic, right? And all you do is just put it over this. And again, I'll put this on for you. I haven't practiced, so it could look kind of lame. But nonetheless, we'll do it for you guys. Let's see here. Okay, and it all just kind of well, snaps in, in a sense, even though it's plastic. There you go. And I'm just going to give it some fine adjustments. And there you go. Now I have adult diaphragm and this side, the actual bell. So if you can, I want to see if we can get this nice and clean for you, but that there's a nice rim here. And this piece of plastic won't come in too far and it won't fall out. It just kind of, literally as you saw, goes in perfectly within itself. So let me see if I can get this light in for you. There you go. So you put this in your ears and you want to know what side is it on. I can tell you the key to, if you don't want to listen to the actual sound, you see, so now this actual bell side's activated, and if I were to put in my ear and touch this side, I wouldn't hear anything. And if I rotate again, whoopsies, um, you can see a little white, little, little thing there, and it goes away, and when it snaps back into now, I know the diaphragm's activated. And that's how you change it. So, some of the big questions that I've had is, does this black, um, I guess, coating chip away? And the answer is absolutely not. I am not gentle with this at all. I throw it around on my white coat, I throw it on the couch, I mean, I'm using it, wiping it down with alcohol, constantly cleaning this thing. There's been zero effect on the on the black, and you can see it's looks practically brand new. And the exact same here, same shiny black coat, not a single chip, no shine, no, um, no wear and tear even being shown. The tubing itself, people ask, does it get hard and crack? Absolutely not. It's, it's nice and tender and soft, I guess as rubbing should be. But um, there's the tubing, absolutely looks fine. I haven't been using it as much as a third year would because I haven't started third year yet, but for my review here of having had it for the last year and a half and using it, it held up beautifully. There's not, you can't even tell that I've used it. And I like the fact that you can actually change from uh, the pediatric diaphragm to this bell to hear kind of more low frequency sounds. And for whatever reason, you get these for extra. I haven't had a need to change them because I just alcohol these down, but nonetheless. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of this uh, Lithman Cardiology 3 stethoscope. This was a re-review. I love it. I would highly recommend it. Other than Lithman, I mean, it's a great brand. People know it, and I guess now I know why people enjoy it. They're extremely well-made products. All right, guys, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Send me a message. I'll be happy to respond. And as always, enjoy your studies.